I don't have to work. I, I don't have to work that hard anymore, you know? Do you guys, I, we put a premise out five minutes before we start and all of that happens. <laughs> fantastic. Weird, but fantastic. Uh, when I started out performing, I'm, I'm in, those of you who don't know me, I'm, a, I'm an entertainer, I'm a clown, I'm a physical performer primarily. Uh, you don't, you, I mostly do this at this show. Uh, I had a really different perspective on how this job was done. I assumed that I had to get up here and steady my nerves, because I mean, I had to study my nerves and do my bit. Now, my bit might be a stupid human trick from the circus world, or it may just be a, a speech I rattled through, and I thought that was the job. As I've grown in experience, and as I've grown in, in a, little, a little wisdom on performing, I've, I've come to the conclusion that I had a really narrow and naive view of how performance is really put together. The truth of the matter is, and here it's really obvious, this is a conversation. You know what I mean? See what I mean? It just, I just ask and they just, yeah. So uh, this is a conversation. And with you guys especially, like I said, because you have boundary issues and huge urge control problems. Uh, but with a more traditional audience that is a touch more reserved, this is still true. And my job is still the same. I have to make a connection. I have to achieve, even way back there in the back row, hi guys, I have to achieve a rapport. Otherwise, I, it's just me up here doing a bit and it's, it's lonely and it's an emotionally disconnected. This is on my mind a lot lately because I'm moving from being a solo performer. Now you think that means you're alone, but what it means is it's me and an audience. I have been moving more and more towards working with partners, multiple partners in ensembles, into big shows, things that you'll be hearing about in the coming months, I'm excited to tell you. In doing so, I've had to get into the position where I have to impart some of these ideas, I dare say wisdom, uh, onto some of my performing partners to help them, you know, get around their heads around this idea. And so I've been looking for a way to explain that. It's really difficult to explain, well, you've got to make a connection. It doesn't make any sense to people if, it, it, doesn't make, it doesn't make sense to me to just say that. But what I'm ultimately doing is I need to achieve trust with you guys. I need to achieve, you know, hopefully complicity that we're going to do something absurd together. Other yeah! Me and him, all the way. <laughs> to achieve that, we, you know, we, have to, we have to connect, we have to try. And it's easy for me to say, well, you gotta trust me. That's easy, that doesn't worry, it doesn't work at all. <laughs> it's a nice thought, isn't it? Just trust me, hop in the van, everything will be fine. <laughs> hop under the bus, everything will be fine. It doesn't work. So I go looking for a method and I realize what I can do, because I can't make you trust me, but I can decide to trust you, and, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you. I can, I can just open myself up to that possibility. And I came up with a way I can do this. This is now, as of this moment, a live performance. Live theater is happening right in front of you right now. That means it is very likely mistakes will be made. It is very likely that things will go wrong. Now, there's also gonna be an instinct when you become involved in this that you could throw me under a bus and ruin this moment. I am fully aware of this and I'm fully accepting of that point. If you make that decision, it's a strong decision. It's also not a wrong decision, but it is a strong one and it will change this moment. Now, I've given you that one bit of border. I'm now going to teach you a stupid human trick and then I'm gonna try something I have never tried before with an audience. The first part I've done before, because, well, it would be really dumb to come up here with no plan. I would never do that. Very true. So, the first part of the plan involves me reaching into the magic bag and pulling out what I play with with children. This is a plastic plate. You will also notice it's, it's got a little cheat in it. I'm not lying to you here. There's a little thing in the middle that makes what I'm about to do pretty obvious and pretty easy. With the application of the technology known as sticks. You guys are easy. <laughs> Stick number one. Stick number two. And it's really hard to see. Uh, stick number three. Assembled into stick prime. 
he who shall pull this stick from the stairs shall be stuck on stage till the bit's over. Now, with kids, I do this bit all the time. I can walk out right over to them because this plate is plastic and I just give it a little twist and a little spin and up we go. And it's, it's pretty exciting. It's, it is pretty, come here, come here. Act like we don't know each other. Tell everybody your name. Hi, I'm Mandy. This is Mandy. Hi, Mandy. Hold that for a second. All right, so that's, we've got about, with that stick, we've got about a minute for me to get my act together. So you just stand there, remain calm. Don't lean over too much, otherwise we're dead. It'll, it'll be fine, just, 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 I grabbed the wrong end, hang on. Yep. It'll be fine, it'll be fine, just, just stay calm. Okay, okay, we're still good. Stick number two! Now, stick number one, that's me, stick number, well, you're stick number one tonight. Well, we, I'll be stick number one in a minute. Okay, so we're running out of time, so what I have to do is I'm going to push this into the middle, and you're going to pull your stick away once it seems like I've got it. Okay, so one, two, three, pull. Yeah. And that's how that's done. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Stand there for one more second, hold both of these. Pretty easy trick, pretty obvious trick, pretty simple, and we have now been performing partners together. Give her a hand. A couple of months ago, I made an allusion to something that hurt me a lot physically. I began learning, I need one of those, please. Thank you, performing partner. Something that hurt me a lot. Um, this probably isn't going to work. <laughs> but this is, this is a, a plate. That is a really hard floor. And there's all of you. So here's what we're going to... Here... Here's what we're going to do, because now I have to inject trust. Thank you for bringing that back to the page. I'm going to start spinning this, and I'm going to hand it to you, and then I'm going to run my stick to her, okay. and then you're going to pass your stick to her, I mean, you're going to pass the plate to her, and then you're going to hand your stick to someone else, and we're going to see if we can get across the room once and back to me, which I'll be over there. This is probably not going to work. If this goes right, I've never done this before, I'm awesome, thank you. If this goes wrong, cool. We failed, we failed as a team, so we're gonna try it. Give me a stick. All right, I have to try to get it started. I'm gonna use the pillow, because I'm not an idiot. <laughs> Whoa, first try. No applause. Now I will warn those of you who become involved in this, this is significantly heavier than you think it is, so if you got a shaky hand or you've been drinking like me, use two hands. Now, are you ready? All right, push. We're not dead yet, it's okay. Push for the center. That's in it, I should have told you that. See, I failed you, I didn't tell you push for the center. I totally want you to do this. Okay. Here's the problem. That's going to happen over their heads the next time we do this. We must focus. I also have to start this again. <laughs> okay. Now I'm nervous. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, come here. Right in the middle, right in the middle, right in the middle. Push, pull. And off you go. Push, pull. Whoa, bam! Around the room, around the room, around the room. Please move forward so the camera can catch this because if it actually works, it's going to be amazing. Push, pull, go. There it is. Step this way. And nobody, it was very, it was a plate setting and nobody died, which is the big excitement. That is the first time I've ever done this. We got as far as we could. Here's the thing. There's a moment between the four of us, the five of us, and all of you guys, where we were on board together. 
You were scared. You were scared. I was scared. I didn't know if it was going to work. And most importantly, it was completely out of my hands. There was a moment here where there was nothing I could do but make faces and hope for the best. <laughs> we see how useful that is now. I will give everybody later tonight an opportunity to play with this, probably with the safer one if you'd like. <laughs> but um, I'm going to leave you with one trick because I feel really charged up because I'm so excited we did that. So I'll do one trick and then we're going to start the show officially. If I screw this up, you're probably going to get hurt. I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah, right, right. I always forget. Thank you. Okay, the people who are saying focus on my ear are not helping. Oh, no wonder you're having so much trouble. The stick's bent. All right. All right. All right, so here we go. My face.